Hello everyone, Aubrey here and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. So today I'm doing a very special build for me. Uh, this is a build based around my childhood home and uh, I really tried to make it as good as possible. It's been uh, like a really long time since I actually lived here. So I tried to remember everything as good as possible. Uh, this is where I grew up with my mum and my little brother. Um, and I like went, I, I lived here for like when I was in fourth grade to um, till I kind of graduated uh, from 10th grade. And uh, yeah, so I've been living here for a very long time. Um, I can't actually remember because three of those years, uh, my three last years from 8th to 10th grade, I actually didn't live at home. I was in boarding school. So uh, I tried to remember as much as possible what everything looked like. But it's really difficult because I kind of mix this up with another place that we lived. Um, and some rooms I just didn't decorate just because I could not remember what they looked like. Um, also, the front door is not the correct one. It was just the one that was closest to the possible uh, one that actually was in this house. Um, and also these windows, also not accurate, but they looked to be the uh, the most accurate accurate to the ones that uh, I remember us having. Also, another thing, um, I make this stone in a brick and I couldn't actually find a brick because this house was a yellow brick house uh, with this black foundation, but there was no yellow brick house. So I just to, decided to go with this um, kind of natural brown brick instead. Uh, so one thing about this house, I remember when we moved into it, the very first time, it did not look good. The yard was a mess and everything was just, I don't want to say damaged, but it, it was just not taken care of. Um, and there was this like uh, driveway up through the garage where you can see that, that's that little house. Um, so... My mom actually decided to not use the garage and just have, uh, she, she created like this little pathway instead uh, and and kind of filled it up with flowers and stuff and it, it looked really great. Uh, I remember this taking forever to, uh, <laughs> to actually do, but it was good. And where I kind of put those uh, hedges on the edge there, there was our neighbors and... Uh, they were a great, great neighbor, uh, st very good friends of my uh, mother's. And they also had like, uh, he had kids of his own that I remember my little brother playing with a lot uh, when he was a child as well. Uh, so downstairs here we have two bedrooms. One of them is mine. The other one is my, is my little brother's. Uh, we also have a kitchen and a dining room and a... Uh, a bathroom and this is the only bathroom in this house so <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> um, so yeah one thing I remember is the downstairs didn't actually always look like this so we have like this L-shaped dining room space that you can see now with this red uh, flooring a uh, red red wooden flooring and the red wooden flooring wasn't actually always red there was like this kind of carpet thing over it and then there was this beautiful red wood underneath that um, and my mom just decided to keep with that flooring it was beautiful uh, and the upstairs here also very different uh, when we moved into the house there was nothing upstairs there was an like a big room uh, that needed to be fixed up and then there was like an empty back room uh, so my mom decided to renovate that and kind of turned that into our uh, living room. And then she had a bedroom in the far end of that. Um, so yeah, a lot of work actually went into this house. Also the, uh, the hallway that you kind of go in through when you go into the house through the front door. 
that was also kind of the she kind of tore down the wall or, or kind of scraped down the wall so the, there was like this uh, raw exposed brick into that um and i just remember everything she did with the house and just made it so much more beautiful so yeah again this is really not an accurate uh, look of how it looked in my house at that moment um it is an a as accurate as I could get it to be, but you know, it, there's just limitation with the sim, and the dimensions is also way way off. Um, this is actually bigger than it it, it was uh, at that time, but I also needed to kind of. I I had to be able to fit in the upstairs as well, and for that I had needed to have the downstairs be a bit bigger than it was. So this this bathroom is as close as I can remember it being. Of course with some minor uh, differences. So yeah. And then here in this little corner where I... Oh yeah, so she had like this uh, movie poster uh, frames right when you came in. So I remember at one time there was this really amazing Tomb Raider poster uh, and that one just reminded me of a Tomb Raider poster so I put that in there and I was and still am a huge fan of Tomb Raider. I think it's one of the greatest games series in history and I can always enjoy a Tomb Raider game and I've actually pre-ordered the Rise of the Tomb Raider edition uh, for playstation 4 i haven't played that yet so i'm so excited for that uh but yeah she had this little corner in the uh front entrance where there was like this lots of knickknacks and stuff like that the kitchen here again not an accurate representation of what it actually was but i tried to make it as accurate as possible so she kept on with the theme of the red um in the kitchen from the uh you can you know kind of dining room and this looks a bit more modern than it actually was but it's the most accurate that i could get it to look um also way too big of a kitchen again not an accurate uh, representation of what it looked like but this is the closest thing i could get to it and still fit everything in uh, so right when you walked out of the kitchen here, this wall that you see uh, where the kind of tables is up against, that wall was actually created by my mom. So she tore down uh, one wall and placed up another so we'd actually get another room for my little brother and I could have my own room and then it opened up to this like beautiful dining room. And I remember in here... This was kind of like a little dining room space. So it's kind of, we had like this very high table with bar stools uh, around that. And we kind of used that to eat um, our meals and, you know, supper and stuff like that. And then the dining room was kind of for more uh, fancy, fancy stuff like special occasions, Christmas, all that kind of stuff. So we would eat in there. But as time went on, I actually started to get too tall to actually be able to sit underneath those uh, or that, that uh, table. So that was really unfortunate. And she doesn't actually have that table anymore. There's a lot of furniture that she doesn't have anymore that she uh, kind of got from her grandmother when she died which is unfortunate it was this very beautiful wooden furniture a really nice looking um so that's unfortunate back here she had like she created like her little own um <clears throat> like a little own uh out what is it called like uh ah damn you know, you guys know what I mean. But she created like this little out uh, glass box for her to kind of use plants in and stuff like that. And uh, again, in here, as you can see, a lot of exposed brick. She did this in a lot of rooms. This is my room. And for the life of me, I cannot remember how my room looked. Uh, I can only remember how it looked when I lived, when I shared a room with my little brother. 
uh, before the other room came around, but I cannot remember how it looked um, after that. So because just because I was on on uh, I was in boarding school and stuff like that, so I don't actually have any memories of what my room actually looked like. So I just kind of threw a lot of stuff in there and and posters that I kind of think that I would have had uh, as a child upstairs here. Again. Uh, this is probably not accurate as well. Uh, so upstairs, it wasn't actually like like this. So the you could actually see up to, into the uh, to the top of the roof. So it it was just like it it went up in like, and you could see like the beams holding the roof together in the inside, and it was very beautiful. And the uh, the walls were actually as far in as they could get, so it kind of like was a loft apartment, and you can, you could kind of see, um, there was a lot more space, but I couldn't actually do that in The Sims, and I just remember up here the uh, living room we had a lot of, of, like yeah, uh, seating areas, a lot of plants she had up here as well, and she had so many DVDs, like tons of DVDs, and I don't remember uh how it was actually placed she had like a lot of boxes with dvds you know like these uh, little plastic boxes that actually fit dvds perfectly in them she had a lot of those and 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 just that was amazing but one thing i do remember is the garden so my my little brother and i we spent like oh my god we spent so much time playing out here so it was just like uh, she would, she had like this rule for me and my brother where she said that we had to be outside and play for at least two hours a day. And and I'm actually grateful that she had that rule just because it's such an, a useful rule uh, just to get kids outside instead of just sitting in front of the television all the time. Uh, but again, as I said in the beginning of this video, this backyard was just a mess like a freaking mess and i remember this little um seating area that you see here this like little like kind of um kind of like terrace thingy where you can kind of sit outside that wasn't actually there that's something that she built the little pond is something that she uh built with a little waterfall and and stuff like that it was just amazing uh, and also a lot of she brought in a lot of bamboo trees she created like this this amazing little um, garden in the back where she could kind of have like vegetables and stuff like that I remember we had corn and we had onions leeks uh, a lot of different vegetables strawberries as well it was just amazing growing up here and she decided to kind of uh, divide the gardens in uh, by sections with this kind of like uh, metal fencing that was kind of like big squares of metal uh, where there was a lot of uh, climbing plants up around and in the back here we actually had a trampoline me and my little brother but I couldn't actually find anything equivalent to that so I just decided not to put it in but she had also like she created also like this uh, fireplace it was kind of sunken down into the ground and had like this back of uh, rocks that kind of went up and it looked really beautiful um, my mom is so creative I'm so proud to have lived here and just what she did with this space in the amount of time that I actually lived here it's just amazing to me and uh, I'm so happy that I could grow up in such a lovely home and such a warm nurturing home uh, and here we have the pictures uh, I just want to say thank you mother for everything that you have given me and for the countless hours of fun that we had in this house also arguments and stupid things uh, a lot has happened in this house but i'm just so happy to have been able to grow up here and thank you for passing on your beautiful and great 
uh, you know, kind of inspiration and and the way that you think. And I'm just so lucky to have grown up here. I'm so happy to have grown up here and it was just an amazing childhood home but anyways if you like this video be sure to like share subscribe and share with your friends and uh find me on the gallery have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and i will see you next time for another video mm -hmm.